What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Ghost Legend pre-workout and I have a sample here in the sour watermelon flavor. I've had a tub of this before but it's got a sample here. I'm going to give my review on it. So in a 12 gram scoop of the Ghost Legend it has four grams of L-citrulline which is better than the citrulline malate that you find in a lot of other pre-workouts. It's going to be pure citrulline so you're getting 100% of what you take in. There's two grams of beta alanine which gives some people the tingly feeling. One gram of taurine, 222 milligrams of caffeine, 185 of this being caffeine anhydrous, and 50 milligrams of this being dicaffeine malate, which gives you 37 grams per that 50 gram serving in here. There's a few other fruit-based supplements in this, but I want to give you my taste review and let you know what I think of it. A little hard to open these things, peck tear is still bugging me. Now it smells very much like the Warheads, the sour watermelon flavor. But it's not as sour as the actual candies, thankfully. It's uh, a little bit less sour. All right. A little sour, but again, nothing too intense. Really strong taste of watermelon. Probably one of the best watermelon flavored products that I've had. In terms of its effects, I find this pre-workout works, works really good for delivering a muscle pump. Now the four grams of L-citrulline is comparable to six grams of citrulline malate, which is standard amongst most of the top line pre-workouts. So you are getting a very similar amount, but I do prefer just having the L-citrulline in it. And I find that it tastes a little bit less sour. The malate that attaches to the citrulline and citrulline malate is a little bit of a sour taste. So if you're sensitive to sour things, you might opt for more of an L-citrulline. But again, this flavor is supposed to be pretty sour itself. I don't personally find it to be too, too sour, but nonetheless, still pretty good. In terms of its effects, this pre-workout is fantastic for delivering a muscle pump and giving you the focus you need for a workout. Flavor-wise, I give this a solid 9 out of 10. Ghost is known for their great flavored products, so this is no surprise. In terms of its effectiveness, I would give this an 8 out of 10. The citrulline does work very well and kicks in pretty quickly and the caffeine it has the dicaffeine malate which is unique to this which is a fairly unique ingredient in pre workouts in canada so i like that is it's going to be a little bit more of a sustained released caffeine so you don't crash in the middle of your workout overall i give this pre-workout a solid 8.5 out of 10. uh things i like best is good flavor good muscle pumps and overall it's a fairly decent pre-workout you guys can check out a few other videos that I have of pre-workout reviews, and I'll link that above. And thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, I have the Total War Northern Lights flavor here. Now this flavor, I had no idea what it was gonna be when I bought it, but it actually turned out to be one of my favorite flavors. And I'm gonna drink it here and let you guys know what the flavor tastes like. So quick little overview of the total war. It has six grams of citrulline malate, 3.2 grams of beta alanine, a gram of taurine, a gram of agmatine, and 250 milligrams of caffeine. Now this is the Canadian version of it and the American version is a little bit different, but I wanna talk about the flavor. And as you can see there, Northern Lights is pretty cool. Now all their other flavors, like the Wolverine, ended up being like a blood orange kind of flavor like a tiger pop and uh their saber tooth is a orange creamsicle so mix this up here <coughs> so this powder is extremely difficult to breathe in some pre-workers aren't too bad but this one even a tiny bit of it makes me choke <coughs> oh geez yeah it's it's intense I mixed up here. <sighs> yeah, so the Northern Lights flavor is kind of like a lemonade flavor, but a rainbow lemonade flavor. It's very similar to the rainbow candy flavor that they have, but a lot more lemony and citrusy. This tastes essentially like if you were to take lemonade and put some Skittles into it, that's roughly what it's going to taste like. It has all spectrums of flavor in it, but citrus being its major notes. 
It is very strong in a citrus taste, but it is actually, it pairs very nicely with everything else that's going on in this pre-workout. It is easily my one of my favorite flavors of pre-workout I've ever had. It is just, it's so out there, but so good. It's very well executed. Redcon 1 does a really great job with the flavors, and this is no exception to that. It is amazing. It just combines a lot of different things all into one. So kind of a rainbow lemonade flavor. It's one of my favorite pre-workout flavors ever, so it's pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Please do so. It helps me with putting out more content, and I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys, Sam gonna review What's up guys, today I'm gonna be reviewing the pre-workout by Alani New. I have here the mimosa flavor, one serving, and this pre-workout brings energy, endurance, and a pump. So Alani New is a very popular brand. They're targeted more towards women with their products. They make pre-workout, BCAAs, protein powders, and a few other things, as well as a Fit Snacks protein bar. So, quite a wide range. As you can see from the ingredient list, it's very basic. Not a lot of pre-workers can say that. You see a lot of them with a bunch of confusing ingredients on it, but this one keeps it pretty simple, which is, it's nice. It's a little bit different. And I'm gonna review the effectiveness of this product. I've used this before. Suggest you use a mix of half scoop. We're gonna go with the full scoop. That's usually what I go with the full scoop or the two scoop blend So per one scoop one pouch of 10.1 grams. We're getting six grams of citrulline malate This is the L citrulline malate two to one. It's the same thing as citrulline malate Carnosin beta alanine 1.6 grams the effective dose L tyrosine 500 milligrams caffeine 200 milligrams and L-theanine, 200 milligrams. So it's got a good blend there for the mental focus in the gym. And the caffeine comes with coffee bean extract, so naturally sourced. There's a whole, not a whole lot in this, but citrulline malate is one of the most beneficial pre-workout ingredients, so I'm glad that it has that. I got the mimosa flavor here, I'll mix it up. Let you guys know what I think, give a full review of it. Mimosa, it's a cool flavor. It's like. I don't know if it tastes like alcohol, if it's just like an orangey. It smells like an orange. It's turning kind of yellowy orange color in the shaker there. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Alani New. I like their protein bars, but not very impressed with the BCA. It's kind of weak for today's standards. But. Let's see how this tastes. Telling orange juice. All right, first sip. It's kind of mimosa y. Strong orange flavor, but yeah, not too bad. Yeah, sweet orange. Not strong. I thought it was strong at first, but yeah, it's kind of basic. Like, it's not bad though. It's good compared to a lot of their other flavoring, which I find like their sour gummy tasted like dish soap. This one actually does taste like what you see on the label. It does taste like that. Mimosa. All right. So for taste. I'm gonna review just the mimosa flavor. I know they have some other flavors that aren't as good, but I'll be generous and base it off of this flavor here. I'm gonna give that a 7.5 out of 10. And it tastes similar to what you see on the label. The mimosa is a pretty recognizable flavor. It tastes orangey, kind of like that. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10. In terms of effectiveness, this pre-workout is, doesn't have anything that stands out. Most pre-workouts are gonna have exactly 
Most other top of the line pre-workouts are going to have exactly what's in this pre-workout and probably at better doses. I like that it does have six grams of citrulline malate though. That's a nice winning piece for this. But a lot of other pre-workouts are going to have that 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine, 200 milligrams of L-theanine, more than 1.6 grams of beta-alanine. But the 1.6 is the effective dose, so I'm glad they have at least that in it. And 200 milligrams of caffeine. If you get, find you don't really have a caffeine tolerance, 200 milligrams might be more than enough for you. But for myself, I prefer to have a little bit of a higher dose of caffeine. Um, yeah, they picked great ingredients, though. Keeping it simple with just five ingredients, they picked five good ones. They got good stuff for the mental focus with the L-theanine and L-tyrosine. Good stuff for the reps with the beta-alanine. Good things for pump with the citrulline and caffeine is just a non-negotiable when it comes to pre-workouts. So... Yeah, overall, I'm going to give the ingredients of the Alani New pre-workout a 7.5 out of 10. What I like best, I kind of went over it, is their citrulline malate and beta-alanine are good dosed. Caffeine is fairly decent for most people, and it's got two other good ingredients that help with the mental focus. Overall, I'm going to give this Alani New pre-workout a 7.5 out of 10. Now, this is better than I thought I was going to give it going into this, but the flavor of the mimosa made up for... Made up for some of the other flavors they came out with. I like the mimosa one, so that's pretty good. I know they had some cool flavors like breezeberry, galaxy lemonade, and those ones are probably better than the one that I just had, but I avoid something like their sour gummy, which tasted literally like dishwater. It was, it was not good, but yeah, I like the mimosa. Go check it out. Not too bad of a pre-workout. Very basic, and it has good doses of the ingredients that it does have in it, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button below to see some more content similar to this. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do my review of the C4 Ripped. So the C4 Ripped is very similar to the regular C4 blend. In a 6 gram scoop it has 1.6 grams of beta alanine, 655 milligrams of L-arginine, 613 milligrams of L-carnitine, 250 milligrams of vitamin C, 150 milligrams of caffeine, 150 milligrams of N-acetyl-L-tyrosine, 50 milligrams of canned fruit extract, 50 milligrams of green coffee bean extract, and some B vitamins. So the only thing that separates the C4 Ripped from regular C4 is that the C4 Ripped has L-carnitine in replacement of the creatine that's in the regular C4. So they're very, very similar. Now, if the C4 is on sale, I'd probably opt for the regular C4. But if you're looking for something that doesn't have creatine in it, the C4 Ripped does a really great job. The thing I like best about the C4 Ripped is it comes in this amazing flavor Ultra Frost, which you can't get in the regular C4. They're very, very similar, same size scoop, and all the other ingredients are exactly the same, just L-carnitine instead of creatine. So if you already had C4, this isn't gonna be anything mind-blowingly different, but despite that, it's still a fairly good pre-workout for beginners. Comes with a cherry limeade flavor, this amazing ultra frost, and fruit punch. So those are the three flavors that it comes in in Canada. The C4 Ripped, not very different from regular C4. For taste, this one right here is really great. I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. Overall, the flavor is very similar to the regular C4, so it's basic but good. For overall effective ingredients in this, I would give this a 7 out of 10. And overall, I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's a good pre-workout, good for beginners, 150 milligrams of caffeine, so it's not too, too intense. The ingredients are dosed at a fairly good amount, but nothing crazy and very similar to the regular C4. If you haven't already, Please hit that like and subscribe button below to stay tuned with the videos that I upload next. And thank you guys for watching. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing the pre-workout Powder Burn by Rivalist Nutrition. 
So I'm gonna sample here. I've had this pre-workout seven or eight years ago. It is a classic, one of those basic but good pre-workouts. I have the blue raspberry flavor here. So I've been using this for quite some time. I don't use it very consistently, but it's nice. I think if it's similar to the C4, very consistent base level ingredients, but it's a step above where C4 is at. So I'm gonna review the ingredients in this and then talk a little bit about the taste. So we're getting 250 milligrams of vitamin C, three milligrams of vitamin B6, 35 micrograms of vitamin B12. So for vitamins, you're getting above the amount that you need of each of those. And we're getting 190 milligrams of potassium. We get the Powder Burn 2.0 Performance Blend, which is seven grams, consisting of 1.6 grams of beta alanine carnosine, 1.5 grams of L-arginine alpha ketoglutarate, one gram of L-citrulline malate, one gram of L-arginine, 500 milligrams of betaine anhydrous, 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine, 500 milligrams of taurine, 250 milligrams of agmatine sulfate, and 200 milligrams of anhydrous caffeine. So overall, pretty decent blend there. It does have uh, citrulline malate in it and L-arginine, which L-arginine isn't very effective at all. L-citrulline actually does a lot more than L-arginine will. So um, the one gram of citrulline is nice. It's 200 milligrams of caffeine. So this pre-workout stacks up comparable to C4, but it does have a few different things that C4 does not have in it. A uh, good dose of beta alanine. I find that this one gives me a little bit of the tingles. I'm not normally, don't normally feel it because I take beta alanine basically every day, but I find with this one, it's a little bit more strong than that. Uh, this is a powder burn 2.0. So one thing that's very nice about Rivalis is they have zero banned substances in it. So if you're a college university athlete, you're able to take this without really worrying about banned substances in your system. So that's really nice about that. So, I'm gonna open this up and give my review of it. Strong blue raspberry scent. All right, first sip. <clears throat> so the blue raspberry flavor is kind of weak, not very strong, but doesn't taste bad. It tastes very much like a blue, what you expect a blue raspberry to taste like, somewhat similar to the C4. I really like the knockout fruit punch flavor of this. It is fantastic. Easily my favorite flavor of their pre-workout. The orange is pretty good. The watermelon is pretty great. But knockout fruit punch, by far their best. Knockout fruit punch, watermelon, orange, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is just okay. If you really love blue raspberry, you'll probably like this as well. For taste, I want to give this, overall, if we're considering the knockout fruit punch, I'm giving the knockout fruit punch easily a nine, but overall, their flavors would say about an eight. Uh, the ingredients, it's not one of those top line pre-workers of 68 grams of citrulline malate. This only has one gram in it, but if you're comparing this to something like C4, one of those cheaper pre-workouts, this is better than C4, so I'm giving this a 7.5. And overall, I'm giving the powder burn pre-workout a 7.5 out of 10. What I like best is it's kind of a cheaper option, $34.99 for 30 servings. So it's not those premium price that you pay $50, $60 for 20 servings. Um, it does have citrulline malate in it, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Like everything's dosed fairly well. Good beta alanine and um, it tastes great. So yeah, that's what I like most about it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button below to see some more content similar to this. And I'll see you guys next time. the pre-workout batch 27 by TZ Nutrition. I have here the sour gummy bear flavor, but it also comes in cherry bomb, rocket pop, peach rings, and blue slushy. Um, the sour gummy bear being my favorite, but what stands out about this pre-workout is it has eight grams of citrulline malate, 3.5 gram, grams of beta alanine, a gram of creatine hydrochloride, 325 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 gram, milligrams of L-theanine. Uh, I find that this pre-workout kicks in really quickly and is very effective, but the standout part for this is the flavor. So uh, Sour Gummy Bear, as I mentioned, is my favorite, uh, probably my favorite of all time flavored pre-workout. It is delicious. 
I currently have the Rocket Pop right now. It is pretty good as well. I'd probably give it about a nine out of 10. Best Rocket Pop flavor, which is a pretty popular flavor in recent years. I uh, also tried the Blue Slushy, which kind of tastes like a blue raspberry. Uh, overall, really, really good flavoring. Uh, the ingredient profile matches up with most of the top of the line pre-works in the market today. Uh, I find that this one does kick in pretty hard and uh, I actually feel it while I'm working out. So uh, some pre-workers that have this similar ingredient profile, you feel it a little bit, but not as much as I noticed you feel with the Vash 27. So I am a really big fan of this. I give the pre-workout a 9.5 out of 10. And I look forward to seeing the more flavors that are gonna be coming out in, recent, in the next few months. So thank you for watching. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the Batch 27 pre-workout. I have here the Cherry Bomb flavor, which is my favorite flavor that they make. But I've also just recently finished a tub of their Rocket Popsicle, as well as their Sour Gummy Bear. So I've had this pre-workout now three times, and that's over 60 workouts worth. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the flavor and how I find that this pre-workout works. So, Cherry Bomb, it is very strong tasting. The pre-workouts run a little bit sour compared to some other pre-workouts. Uh, this is due to the citrulline malate in it, and I find that they don't hide the flavor very well. They advertise it as the L-citrulline DL malate 2 to 1 ratio. Um, and per full scoop, you're getting 8 grams of it. So that's a little bit higher than the 6 grams you traditionally will find in uh, pre-workout, these top-of-the-line pre-workouts that contain citrulline. So... The eight grams, two extra grams, it's pretty noticeable. And I found that this pre-workout really hits hard compared to some other ones, so. All right. Big serving size there. It's a 18 gram scoop. So fairly, fairly big in size. Most protein scoops are around, it's like 30 grams. Eight grams of decitylene DL malate, 3.5 grams of beta alanine, 1.8 grams of betaine, one gram of creatine hydrochloride, 600 milligrams of agmatine sulfate, 600 milligrams of L-tyrosine, 500 milligrams of L-carnitine tartrate, and 325 milligrams of caffeine, and a few other ingredients such as theobromine, bitter orange extract, L-theanine, black pepper extract, and huperzine A. Huperzine A is good for the mental focus. So this pre is pretty chock full of ingredients, and um, I find this to be one of the most powerful pre-workouts. I've already done a review on it, but oh, wow, I am, I'm a really big fan of this one. It's, it's pretty powerful. So I'm gonna mix it up here, give a taste test, I'll let you know what I think. A little sour, but that picture there, that's exactly what it tastes like. Now some other pre-workouts and other BCAs make their cherry bomb flavor. If you ever had the cherry bomb candies, you can get it at a place like Bulk Barn, which I'm looking at right now. This one tastes identical to them. Now, not every pre-workout is gonna taste like what is advertised, but I find that Batch 27 actually delivers on what you see on the label. I just came out with a like bubblegum grape flavor, which I've heard to be a very delicious flavor. I also have their new flavor, the Pink Mimosa, and it is really good. I don't even think it's the name Pink Mimosa, I forget what it's called, but it's delicious. So all their flavoring seems to be very good. I got their EAs right now in Red Slushy, you had Blue Slushy, sour watermelon things like that and all of their flavors are good so what you see on the label is what you're going to get when it comes to their pre-workout flavors so if you like cherry bomb you're going to really like this flavor probably give it a tie between this and their gummy bear their gummy bear is really good and that's one of my favorite flavors usually but i don't find that many pre-workouts can actually make their their sour gummies taste like a sour gummy so they have a really great job of doing that so i'm big fan of the flavoring a 9 out of 10 in terms of taste and ingredients, I would give that also a nine out of 10. Overall, this pre-workout is a solid nine. It really delivers on everything you can expect from a pre-workout, gives great muscle pumps, and it's good for that mental focus that you need while you're working out. So yeah, TC Nutrition knocked the Batch 27 out of the park. This pre-workout is just amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I've bought it three times already. My typical pre-workers, I shuffle between the Batch 27, Total War by Redcon 1, or the Honey Badger from Yummy Sports. 
those are my big three and um yeah this is this is good i probably will buy another tub of it it's i'm impressed i'll probably get another tub of the sour gummy bear because i found that one really really good and yeah i can't say enough good things with the batch 27 it's really it's new and exciting and delivers on pretty much what you expect from a pre-workout so Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below as well as like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the bubblegum grape flavor of the Batch 27 by TC Nutrition. So I've already done a couple of review videos on the Batch 27, one of my favorite pre-workouts. Some high notes from it, it has eight grams of citrulline malate, 3.5 grams of beta alanine, 325 milligrams of caffeine and a bunch of other ingredients in it. And it works really well. I find that the mental focus on this and the pump are both high quality. Now. Bubblegum grape, I'm not normally a grape fan, but I was told that this flavor tastes really good, like the uh, Hubba Bubba roll of grape tape. I'm gonna test this out and see if that claim is true. So, I'm typically not a grape flavor fan, one of my least favorites, but bubblegum makes it a little bit different. It definitely smells like gum. Smells strongly of grape in here and like bubble gum. Nice mixture of both. Oh yeah, it smells strongly of gum. All right, I'm gonna do a sip here and get my review on it. Yep, that tastes exactly like bubble gum grape. Wow. Kind of has images of like a double Hubba Bubba, or Double Bubble, um, Brex of Gum, but I find it tastes like that tape gum that you get. Wow, that tastes spot on. Like, this actually tastes like gum, like I'm drinking gum. It's wild. It tastes mostly like gum when you first drink it, and then it kind of has a grape aftertaste. It smells strongly of grape, but... The flavor isn't as strong as grape as, as I was anticipating it to be, so that's a little different. I like it. Very different. Bubblegum grape. TC Nutrition. I'm not normally a grape fan, but I'm going to give this a rating out of 10 after this next sip. Yeah. It's coming from a non-grape fan. I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10. pre itself itself like a 9 out of 10, but this flavor, whoo, pretty good for a grape. It's got a strong bubblegum taste. If you like grape flavor bubblegum, you're going to love this pre-workout. It tastes spot on. Like, this is incredible. Really, really impressive. So, yeah, go check it out. Batch 27 by TC Nutrition. If you like grape or if you like bubblegum flavors, try this flavor out. You will not be disappointed. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button below to see some more content similar to this. And I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys, today I'm going to have my review of the One Punch Pre-Workout by Fusion, the creators of Purple K. So I've had this in their watermelon cotton candy flavor, got it right there, and in the Rocket Pop flavor. I'm holding here the Sweet Tarts, and also comes in a Cherry Blaster flavor, as well as a Sour Green Apple. This comes with 40 scoops, and it's a pretty good pump pre-workout. It says right on it, Knockout Pump and Energy Pre-Workout Formula and it delivers exactly that. Per two scoops, which is kind of the premium dose of this, you're getting eight grams of citrulline malate, one gram of l acid, one gram of tyrene, 750 milligrams of agmatine sulfate, 
and 400 milligrams of caffeine per the two scoops. There's, there's 200 milligrams per single scoop. It also has electrolyte complex in it, so per two scoops, there's 10 milligrams of calcium citrate, 10 milligrams of potassium citrate, and 10 milligrams of magnesium citrate. And not in non-medical ingredients, natural flavors, silicone dioxide, sucralose, beetroot powder, calcium silicate. So it's a pretty good dose products. It's high in caffeine, high in citrulline malate. Per two scoops, you're getting eight grams of citrulline malate and 400 milligrams of caffeine. So that is quite the dose. You can get good effects out of just one single scoop, but if you're like me and have a higher tolerance, the two scoops might do you well. So one punch, it's great. In terms of the taste, I really like the watermelon cotton candy. Now that's a very unique flavor. You're not gonna find a watermelon cotton candy in really a lot of products. So that uniqueness is very nice. It was my favorite flavor of this. I've had some of their other products in the different flavors, but watermelon cotton candy was just amazing. If you like Rocket Pop, you're gonna like the Rocket Pop of this. The Cherry Blaster is also quite good. Those would be my top three flavors. With the one punch, I'm gonna give the flavor a eight out of 10. The ingredients also an eight out of 10, and overall, this pre-workout gets an eight out of 10. What I like best is it's gonna be flavored fairly decently, and ingredients in it are pretty standard for a pre-workout, but it does deliver on a, giving a great muscle pump. 40 servings, this is gonna run you around $39.99, and it works out to being about a dollar a scoop, so if you're two scoop, that's gonna be about $2 per workout. It is a great pre-workout though. Made by Fusion, they make the Purple K, pretty popular brand, it even says right on it, made by the makers of Purple K, so they wear that on their sleeve. Naturally flavored, which is pretty good. I like this pre-workout, not something that I get often, but it does deliver on what I want and it tastes pretty good. So yeah, eight out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you can hit the subscribe button below and I will see you guys next time. What's up guys, got another pre-workout review for you here and today I'm going to be going over the pre-workout Vandal by The Vandal Project. I got here the Rainbow Burst flavor which is a limited edition flavor, it's got a cool branding on it. I've also had their Cherry Slushy pre-workout which is pretty decent in taste, a little underwhelming but this pre-workout is new, got a lot of cool ingredients in it and I'm gonna go over a few of them here with you. First things first, it's got L-citrulline, so the good type of citrulline. And it's six grams per two scoops, which is like the premium dose of that. So six grams of L-citrulline is a lot better than six grams of citrulline malate. 1.5 grams of tyrene for hydration. 750 milligrams of agmatine sulfate. 300 milligrams of grapeseed extract. And for mental focus, it has two grams of L-tyrosine. 300 milligrams of choline. 250 milligrams of lemon balm, which is pretty unique to pre-workouts. 150 milligrams of rhodiola root extract, a gram of pomegranate juice extract, which is pretty unique as well for a pre-workout. 300 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous, so that's a pretty good dose. I like around 300 milligrams of my pre-workouts. And 130 milligrams of decaffeine malate. So yeah, this pre-workout has some pretty good ingredients in it. Six grams of L-citrulline, 300 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous, plus the decaffeine malate. This is really good for giving you a muscle pump and a focus in the gym. It does have some different ingredients and I like the pomegranate root extract and the lemon balm. So this is a little bit different. You might wanna try this out if you're looking for something that's gonna give you a bit of a different effect than the other pre-works you might've had. It's unique in its ingredient profile. So that makes it pretty cool. The flavor is just fair. It's a little bit bland that I, I find. Uh, usually I find things that have L-citrulline in it are gonna be very sour, but this one's more on the bitter bland side of things. So take that into account. The Vandal is a unique new pre-workout. So if you haven't had it before and you're looking for a, and you're looking for something new, this one might be the one for you. In terms of flavor, I would give this a seven out of 10. Ingredients, I would give an eight out of 10 and overall a 7.5 out of 10. Hope this review is useful and thank you guys for watching.
What's up guys? Today I'm going to give my review of the Super Set by Beyond Yourself. Now this pre-workout is one of the most strongest pre-workouts that I've ever seen. It is insane in its ingredient profile. Like I am mind blown at it. I had a tub of the Red Wine Boom flavor, but I'm holding here the Fuzzy Peach flavor. I was thoroughly impressed with this pre-workout. I'll go over the ingredient profile because that's what's amazing about this pre-workout. It has per full scoop, so this is two servings of full scoop, nine, gra nine, nine grams of L-citrulline. So that is very high of a dose. Most pre workers have the citrulline malate, which isn't as effective as L-citrulline, so you're getting the real deal with nine full grams. It's more than most pre workers with citrulline malate have. So absolutely insane. I'm amazed by this. It gives great muscle pumps because of that, but most pre workers don't have anywhere near that amount, and it is a large dose, so that's pretty cool. This also has four grams of beta alanine, which again is another highly dosed pre-workout. If you get the tingles and itches, like you feel like your face is really itchy, this might not be the best pre-workout for you because four grams is seriously a lot of it. It also has three grams of taurine for hydration, which is relatively high. Most energy drinks have around one to two grams, so very, very high. 1.5 grams of L-tyrosine, so for mental focus, that's pretty decent. 1,470 milligrams of agmatine, so that is also a fairly decent dose of it. Most don't have anything over a gram. Caffeine, it has 300 milligrams for the full scoop, which is pretty, that's a pretty good dose. 300 milligrams is right where I like it for my pre-workout, so I'm a big fan of that. 60 milligrams of synephrine, which is another stimulant, and 750 milligrams of Hika. So as I said, the L-citrulline content in this is absolutely mind-boggling. Like that is very high of a dose for L-citrulline. Gives amazing muscle pumps because of that, which is what most people look for when they're getting a pump pre-workout. So this delivers on that. And then the four grams of beta alanine is also a very high dose. So that's gonna help with the 15 plus rep range. Overall, this pre-workout is amazing. Um, with the high citrulline malate content, usually citrulline tastes a little bit sour. So I found the Rocket Popsicle flavor is very sour. This one is still pretty sour as well, but um, you're gonna find that across the board with their blue freeze flavor as well. In terms of taste, I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. Very sour flavor, as I just said. For, in terms of effective ingredients, I would give this a nine to a 9.5 out of 10. This is the highest dose citrulline malate, or this is the highest dose citrulline product that I've ever seen. Nine grams is a lot. So if you're looking for a muscle pump, this is your best friend. It does have 300 milligrams of caffeine as well. So it's also really good for the focus in the gym. Overall, I give this product an 8.5. It is really good for delivering a muscle pump, good for also mental focus in the gym. It's just overall a good pre-workout. One thing you gotta bear in mind is the scoop is the size of a protein scoop, so if you don't like mixing up a lot of things with water, this might not be for you, but the sheer volume of this product makes up for it, so. I am really a fan of the Super Set. It is mind-bogglingly dense with ingredients, and it tastes pretty good to boot, so. Yeah, check this out. Very strong pre-workout. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. What's up guys, today I'm going to do my review of the Purple K reps. Now this is a unique pre-workout, it's focused around the Purple K creatine, it is caffeine free and it is quite unique. Explosive strength gains and pump pre-workout formula, that's what it delivers. And we're looking at, we're going to go with the two scoops, that's what I usually dose it at. So if you're taking a single scoop, you can half all these doses. There's 1.5 grams of their Cray Alkaline Buffer Creatine Monohydrate Power Hydrogen 12 Plus Patent Number 6,399,661. Quite the ingredient. This is their special creatine. That's the Purple K. If you buy the pills, that's what I take. That's what's in this pre-workout. So if you're currently taking the creatine pills, you can opt for taking just this pre-workout instead. And it has 1.5 grams of that per scoops or per two scoops. So pretty good dose. In addition to this, for the pump and energy mix, it has six grams of citrulline malate, 3.2 grams of beta alanine, 
1.5 grams of glycine, and one gram of taurine. This also has an electrolyte compound with 10 milligrams of calcium citrate, 10 milligrams of potassium citrate, and 10 milligrams of magnesium citrate. And also five milligrams of bioparine for absorption. So this is good if you want a good pre-workout that's caffeine free and has creatine in it and has their special Purple K creatine. So very unique. Purple K reps is great if you want to pump. The six grams of citrine malate works very well. And it's got some things like beta alanine in it to help with the 15 plus rep range and glycine and tyrene as well. So it's really, it really is just the five ingredients, the creatine, the citrulline malate, the beta alanine, the glycine, and the tyrene. The electrolytes are a very low dose, so it's not gonna make a really big difference in your workout, but if you're currently taking the purple K creatine, this could be something you could opt for instead, and it's gonna give you the same results as the creatine, and it has citrulline malate in it. So 40 servings of this runs you around $40. So if you're looking for a different type of pre-workout and you want to get your creatine in as well, this is a pretty good option. Tastes very good. I have the sweet tarts flavor here, or the, they have the, sh the sugar tarts flavor, actually. It's fairly decent. Flavor, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Ingredients for a pump pre-workout, also an 8 out of 10. Overall, 8 out of 10. It's not too different from their one-punch pre-workout. This is more of a caffeinated. They swap out caffeine for uh, creatine in this one. The ingredients are very similar to one punch has two grams more of citrulline malate. A purple K wraps is good if you want a caffeine free pre workout, which is kind of rare. Most pre workers are going to have caffeine in it, but if you find your caffeine tolerance, this is going to be a great option for you. And it just tastes good. And if you want creatine, this is a pretty good way to get your creatine in. So I like it. It's great. You can stack it on top of a, another pre workout if you wanted to get more of a pump this is really what it's about. It's basically a creatine and pump mix. Very unique. There's not a whole lot of products out there that are very great creatines and also have citrulline malate in it. So if this fills a niche that you're looking for, go ahead, try it out. You won't be disappointed. Fusion Sports did a great job with this. And they're very popular. Purple K sells like crazy. And this is also a pretty popular product as well. So yeah, give it a shot. It's a great caffeine-free pre-workout. If you like this video, you can hit that like button, subscribe button below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be giving my review of the Pump Addict Pre-Workout by Believe Supplements. So Pump Addict by Believe is one of the strongest pre-workouts out in the market, in my opinion. It's got 400 milligrams of caffeine per scoop and 6 grams of L-citrulline malate. So it's not only good for mental focus, but also good for giving you a muscle pump while you're in the gym. Alongside the caffeine, you have 200 milligrams of DMAE, 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine, and 500 milligrams of bitter orange. Alongside the citrulline malate, there is three grams of beta alanine. So if you're sensitive to the tingles, you might get affected by this pre-workout. Something a little different about this pre-workout is it has four grams of L-leucine per scoop. Now, traditionally, not every pre-workout is gonna come containing L-leucine in it, but this is a nice touch. Getting a little bit of a BCA in before your workout can help increase your muscle protein synthesis. And there's also three grams of glycerol, which is good for muscle pumps. So I have here the Rocket Pop flavor, but it also comes in pink lemonade, sour green apple, sour watermelon, and fuzzy peach. My favorite flavors being the uh, Popsicle or the sour green apple. Their sour green apple is really good. Normally I'm a huge fan of sour green apple flavors, but theirs is actually fantastic. All their pre-workouts are a little bit sour, so if you're sensitive to anything sweet, you might wanna go with maybe a half scoop or get a different pre-workout altogether. Every one of their pre-workouts is quite sour. And this is due to the citrulline malate that it contains. So you can start out by taking half a scoop of this, which will only give you the 200 milligrams of caffeine and three grams of citrulline malate, and start to increase that as you find it's a little bit less effective. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of this pre-workout. 
flavor wise I would give this a 9 out of 10 I really like sour flavors myself if you if you don't like sour flavoring you might not like this as much and overall ingredients I find this pre-workout works really well for myself so I'm gonna give this as well a 9 out of 10 and overall 9 out of 10 great pre-workout third-party tested delicious flavors great focus and great pumps overall fantastic if you found this video useful, you can hit that subscribe button below for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to give my review of the Supernova Infinite. So Supernova Infinite comes with 6 grams of citrulline malate and 170 milligrams of caffeine. So in terms of muscle pumps, really good. In terms of caffeine mental focus, it's a little bit on the lesser side. It does have a performance blend consisting of cordyceps, it's a mushroom, Rishi is a fruit, lion's mane, which contains Huprazine A, turkey's tail, and shiitake. This has 1,500 milligrams of betaine, 600 milligrams of noble orchid, 400 milligrams of cacao, which does contain a little bit of caffeine in it, 350 milligrams of DMAE, 100 milligrams of theanine, and 150 micrograms of Huprazine A. So overall, the ingredient profile in this pre-workout is pretty good. Um, lower on the caffeine content, but it does make up with that with the cacao. The pump you get from this product is pretty good. Good focus as well. Um, it's got a few different ingredients there that most other pre-workers won't contain. So that's nice if you wanted to try something with a little bit different ingredient profile. It comes in the iced raspberry flavor that I'm holding here. But it also comes in juicy grape, peach mango, and strawberry lemonade. I find Nutribolic's flavors are traditionally pretty good tasting and uh, my favorite being the iced raspberry or the strawberry lemonade. This pre-workout is very unique. You're not gonna find anything else like it on the market. For flavor, I'd probably give this a eight out of 10. The ingredient profile as well, probably another eight out of 10. It's a little bit different. It does its job, delivers a muscle pump and a decent amount of focus. Overall, I give this product a solid eight out of 10. It's going to deliver exactly what you need from a pre-workout, give a good muscle pump, and maybe you'll find that the ingredients in this are going to be a bit more effective for you than other pre-workouts. So give this pre-workout a try if you haven't had it before, and if you haven't already followed me, hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give my review of the Mammoth Pump. So Mammoth Pump is a high intensity pre-worker that comes with 3 grams of citrulline malate per scoop, 200 milligrams of caffeine, 1.5 grams of beta alanine, 1 gram of taurine, 750 milligrams of creatine hydrochloride, 500 milligrams of agmatine sulfate, 500 milligrams of tyrosine, and 25 milligrams of grapeseed extract. So this pre-workout I find is a little bit on the weaker side. But if you take two scoops of this pre-workout, you're going to get somewhere as near what other top of the line pre-workouts contain. So I like a pre-workout that has around six grams of citrulline malate, which would be two scoops of this and 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is a little bit high for me, but it might be beneficial if you have a hard time getting that focus in the gym. It comes in the black cherry flavor, blue raspberry, Swedish berries, watermelon, fruit punch, mango, and white grape. So the flavor of this is a little bit bitter, in my opinion. I find that it's uh, it's not the greatest tasting thing, and it's not very, very strong, but it is oftentimes on sale for a decent price, so it has that on its side. The ingredient profile, again, only one scoop has three grams of citrulline malate, and a lot of the other top line pre-workers will have six grams per scoop, but you can always combat that by taking two scoops, which kind of defeats the whole economical value of this product, but just depends how much caffeine and how much citrulline amount you need for a good workout. It does have no artificial colors or dyes, which not every pre-workout can say, so that is a nice bonus if you're allergic to any of that. I find the flavor of this is just fair again, and the overall ingredients are also just fair. For taste, I would probably give this a 6.5 to a 7 out of 10, and the overall ingredient profile, 
probably a 7.5. Overall, 7 out of 10 for this pre-workout. It does go on sale fairly commonly, and that'd be the best time to buy it. If you found this video useful, you can hit that subscribe button below for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys, today I'm going to give my review of the Mr. Hyde pre-workout. So this one is a very high stimulant pre-workout, mostly just for the mental focus. I have the 60 serving lollipop punch here, and this one per full scoop, so two servings, contains 2.5 grams of beta alanine, one gram of creatine hydrochloride, half a gram of citrulline malate, 490 milligrams of choline, a whopping 400 milligrams of caffeine. So this is where most of the effects come from is a high caffeine dose. 225 milligrams of L-arginine, 100 milligrams of bitter orange extract, 50 milligrams of N-acetyl tyrosine, 30 milligrams of niacin, and 25 milligrams of theocrine. As I said, this is a stimulant focused pre-workout. 400 milligrams of caffeine is very high. This is one of the highest on the market and it delivers on that mental focus. It's got a lot of things that help with mental focus in addition to the caffeine. So if you're looking for something that's gonna get wired for your workout, Mr. High is gonna be a really good one for that. It is a little bit intense, so if you find that you're caffeine sensitive, this might not be the best pre-workout for you, but it tastes relatively good and delivers on that mental focus that you want from a pre-workout. The Dr. Jekyll is a little bit less intense than the Mr. Hyde, but the Mr. Hyde is the most popular of their pre-workouts. For flavor, I would give this an eight out of 10. For effective ingredients, for mental focus, this is a fairly decent one. I would give this also a eight out of 10. If you're looking for more of a pump, this pre-workout isn't for you. But overall, I give this pre-workout an 8 out of 10. Very effective, very strong, and it gets you wired as heck for a workout. Thank you guys for watching. What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna give my review of the Impact Pump by All Max Nutrition. I have here the pineapple mango flavor. I've tried it in all the different flavors that it comes in. One of the things about this is it's gonna be somewhat bitter of a flavoring. I find that with a lot of All Max's products. It's not a bad thing if you like that kind of flavoring. Um, it's, not as, it's not as sour as some of the other pre-workers that have essentially malate in it. I'll show you what the ingredient profile looks like. So we're sitting at around 30 calories per scoop, six grams of l citrulline malate, two to one, one gram of Agmature agmatine sulfate, a gram of glycerol powder, a gram of taurine, 500 milligrams of N-acetyl L-cysteine, 300 milligrams of lion's mane mushroom extract, and 150 milligrams of alpha GPC. For better absorption, this has 10 milligrams of cinnulin PF, or cinnamon, and five milligrams of bioparine, which is pretty much black pepper. So you mix this with around 10 to 12 ounces of water, 30 minutes before your workout. I really like this for the muscle pumps that it gives. I find when I'm taking this that it's quicker for me to get a muscle pump and it lasts for much longer. If I, let's say, were to get a bicep pump after about 15 reps, it might be 12 with something like this. So it definitely has a noticeable effect. In terms of increasing the intensity of your workout, this is a caffeine-free pre-workout, so it's not gonna really give you that focus that some others might. But with this, it's great for muscle pumps. So if that's what you're looking for, the impact pump is gonna be fantastic for you. If you're looking for something with more of a mental focus, maybe look at their Impact Igniter, which is the caffeinated version of this. The flavoring is very similar. I have the pineapple mango here, which is fairly decent. I give the flavoring like a seven, 6.5 out of 10. Not as strong suit, but the tart black cherry 
tastes very spot on to a tart black cherry. So I, I like that. Overall, I'd give this pre-workout, the ca non-caffeinated version pre-workout, a 8 out of 10. It does exactly what you expect it to do as a pump product um, and nothing more than that. So overall, pretty good. What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the pre-workout Altered State by Perfect Sports. I have here the Sour Cherry Bomb flavor, which was my favorite of the three, but there's also an Atomic Peach Ring and Intense Blue Raspberry flavor. Um, the flavoring on all three is really great, but what stands out to me is the large amount of ingredients in each scoop. It's going to be one of the strongest pre-workers that you probably have tried. It has 8.3 grams of citrulline malate, 3.2 grams of beta alanine, and a 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is a large dose. It also has a lot of other things in it here, ranging from vitamins to other amino acids. Overall, the profile is really good. I find that this one really gives you great pumps. Um, with 8.3 grams of citrulline malate, that is no surprise. And an increased amount of focus due to the large amount of caffeine in it and the L-tyrosine that's also in it. Um, you'll find this pre-workout kicks in really hard and really quickly and gives you a great workout. Hey guys, got another pre-workout review here, and this time I'm going to be doing Big Noise by Redcon 1. I have here the strawberry kiwi flavor, I've also tried it in the Wolverine, Sabretooth, Blue Lemonade, and some other flavors. This is a caffeine-free pre-workout, and I think it's one of the best caffeine-free pre-workouts on the market. Per scoop, it has 250 milligrams of choline, 3 grams of glycerol, 2.5 grams of betaine anhydrous, one gram of beetroot extract, one gram of agmatine sulfate, I'm gonna struggle with pronouncing this one, but 300 milligrams of L-alpha glycerol phosphoryl choline, alpha GPC for short, and for good reason, <laughs> 200 milligrams of rhodiola rosea extract, and 200 micrograms of huperzine A. So this is a pretty unique pre-workout. It is mainly focused on giving you a good muscle pump, but it does have nootropics in it despite having no caffeine. So no, no stimulants in this at all, but still is gonna help with that mental focus in the gym, which is fairly unique because a lot of pre-workouts that give you that mental drive are all centered around stimulants. So big noise is very different in that regard. So if you're having a late night workout, you can easily take a scoop of this without having any adverse effects and be able to sleep that night. So that's a nice bonus. This does not have citrulline malate in it, which normally most pump pre-workers are gonna have that in it, but I still find this delivers on the pump and it gives you that boost in the gym. I'm gonna open this up and put it in my pre-workout and give you guys a taste test of this. Very foamy. Good, uh, very strong strawberry flavor. I find this one's very powerful in its taste, whereas the other ones aren't as strong. This one's quite strong. This strawberry kiwi, you don't really taste a whole lot of kiwi and it's mostly just strawberry, but nonetheless, delicious. As far as stimulant free pre-workouts or pump products go, I would give this a 8.5 out of 10. And for flavor, you can't go wrong with any of Red Cow One's flavoring. So I'm giving this a nine out of 10. Overall, I rate the Big Noise Stimulant Free Pre-Workout an 8.5 out of 10. What I like best about it is it's good tasting flavor, caffeine free formula. It is gonna help you with a muscle pump and focus while you're in the gym without having any stimulants in it. One thing I wish that they did have was citrulline malate in this pre-workout, but I can get by without. Thank you for watching.
Good morning, guys. Today, I'm gonna to be giving my review of the Rain Orange Streamsicle. So Rain is an energy drink that was created by Monster to help rival with the Bang energy drinks. Now in Canada, they're both not the exact same product that they are in America, but this one here has 180 milligrams of caffeine, 10 calories, 220 milligrams of sodium, three grams of carbs, 90% of your daily value of niacin, 110% of your daily value of vitamin B6, and 300% of your daily value of vitamin B12. Alongside this, this energy drink does have amino acids in it. So it's 300 milligrams of L-leucine, 300 milligrams of L-isoleucine, and 300 milligrams of L-valine. So there's around a gram of BCAs in this as well. In addition, this also has coenzyme Q10, so that is good for your heart health. Very unique for an energy drink in Canada to have this in it. So I'm gonna open it up and give you my review of it. Yep, definitely smells like an orange creamsicle or dreamsicle. And first sip. Pretty much tastes like a creamsicle. Like, spot on. Good flavor. Has a... Uh, little bitterness to it, a little tiny bit in the aftertaste, but that's about it. I really like that. It's not, it does taste like orange, but it's not an overpowering flavor. It has a bit of that creamy taste to it as well. That does make it taste like a creamsicle. So spot on, tastes like the name and for an energy drink that's somewhat rare. So one last sip and I'll give a rating out of 10. I'd give this a 8 out of 10. It tastes like a creamsicle and rain are pretty good energy drinks with the ingredients in it. So 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the pre-workout Total War by Redcon 1. Total War comes packed with 6 grams of citrulline malate, 3.2 grams of beta alanine, a gram of taurine, and a gram of agmatine sulfate. For focus, this comes with 250 milligrams of caffeine, which is a little bit less than some of the more intense pre-workouts on the market, but I find that it's more than enough to get me through my workouts with a good focus. Where this product really shines though is the ability to give a good muscle pump. So it comes with 6 grams of citrulline malate. And citrulline malate is a little bit less effective than the L-citrulline you might find in some other brands due to the fact that your body has a breakdown of citrulline and the malate versus just getting the pure L-citrulline. So with the six grams of citrulline malate actually transfers over to about four grams of L-citrulline. So you are getting a little bit less, but there are supplements in this that is gonna help with your the bioavailability of some of the other ingredients in this. So that is where I believe that it gets the good results from. It comes in a variety of different flavors. I have here the sour gummy bear flavor. I've also had the Wolverine flavor, which is like a tiger pop or a blood orange flavor. The saber tooth, which is like an orange creamsicle. The Northern Lights, which is a rainbow lemonade. And the rainbow candy crush, which as the name implies, it tastes like a rainbow. <laughs> um, these products are really good tasting compared to other pre-workouts that I find have a bit of a chemical taste to them. This one tastes a little bit more natural I do thoroughly enjoy drinking this. I would rate this a good 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. And I find that it's, the best points about it are its ability to give a great muscle pump. It tastes delicious and it sustains you for my entire workout. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, got another pre-workout review for you. And today I'm going to be going over the ANS Dilate. Now this is a pump pre-workout, meaning it does not have caffeine in it, but it does a fantastic job with delivering a muscle pump. The ingredients in this, it has 100 milligrams of vitamin C, three grams of L-citrulline, so the good type of citrulline, two grams of glycerol powder, a gram of agmatine sulfate, 150 milligrams of Camellia sinensis leaf extract, 500 milligrams of citrus sinensis, and 50 milligrams of pomegranate extract. So this is a little bit different than some other pre-workouts, but it has three grams of L-citrulline, so the effective type of citrulline, and that is great for giving a muscle pump, as well as the glycerol powder, two grams of that, which is also gonna help with giving you a muscle pump. So I've used this product in the past, and I've always found that it works very well. 
I'm not the biggest fan of the ANS brand, but I find that this product does do a really great job of giving you a muscle pump. I also have their Prophecy pre-worker, which contains citrulline malate, so the less effective form of citrulline, but for their pump product, they gave us the good stuff, so I'm happy for that. I wanna mix it up and let you guys know what I think of the lemon drop flavor. It matches my t-shirt. This product does clump quite a bit. I noticed that a lot of pump products typically end up clumping a little bit due to the ingredients that they have. That's no big deal. If you got a shaker cup, it's gonna break it apart anyways and water will help dissolve that. It smells like lemon pledge, a little bit of an artificial lemon scent. All right, very foamy and taste test. It doesn't have a lemon taste to it, but it kind of tastes like an artificial lemon. It's not terrible though. The flavor is, is just okay but the ingredients is where this product really shines. For flavor, I give this a 6.5, seven out of 10. Ingredients, I would give a 7.5 out of 10. And overall, I would give this a seven out of 10. What I like about this is that it uses the L-citrulline and provides some ingredients that not every pump product is gonna have. So if you find that some of these ingredients were better for you, then this pre-workout might be best for you. But overall, it is a very seven out of 10 pre-workout. Nothing spectacular about it, but it does get the job done. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna link some more videos up here so you can check out some different pre-workout reviews and hit that subscribe button below to see some more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys, got another energy drink review for you here. Today I'm gonna to be doing the 3D Energy in the white flavor. This comes in white, red, and blue. Contrary to popular belief, this does not taste like the white monster. So I'll give you guys my review of it. It's got 15 calories and quite the long ingredient list. There's trace amounts of carbohydrates. So seven grams here with zero sugar, 40 milligrams of potassium, 141% of your daily value of niacin, B6, B12, and pantothene. And also per can, you're getting 1.05 grams of tyrene, 120 milligrams of panax ginseng root extract, 17 milligrams of guavarana seed extract, 180 milligrams of caffeine, which is the highest amount that you can put in an energy drink Canada, a couple other artificial sweeteners. So yeah, I'm gonna crack this open, let you guys know what I think. Whew. It smells kinda like a candy, Kind of like a normal Red Bull. Yeah, very sweet. The way one does not taste like a weight monster. It's kind of like a blend of fruit flavors. I think it tastes like a double lolly if you ever had those suckers that are kind of like powdery sugar. It tastes spot on like that. Yeah, it's a sugary tasting drink with no sugar in it, so that's nice. Kind of like a red, if Red Bull wasn't so strong and like bitter tasting, and you had like a, like a bunch of sugar, tastes exactly like the double lolly, like that's what I'm getting from this. It's not crazy good or anything, but it's, it's still pretty great, like not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Tastes like a double lolly, very sweet, sugary, but not too bad, I like it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button below to see some more content similar to this. And I'll see you guys next time.